फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट रिलीफ क्लेम्ड बाय द प्लेंटिव्स इन द सूट इज अ डिक्री फॉर डेक्लारेशन दैट द रिकॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड पार्टनरशिप डीड डेटेड सेवनटीन फेब्रवरी नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू वॉज इलीगल एंड वॉइड एंड देर वॉज नो इंटेंशन और डिजायर ओफ श्री राजेंद्रा प्रसाद सिंह टू रिटायर फ्रॉम द पार्टनरशिप एंड फर्दर दैट द प्लेंटिवस बींग हेयर्स ऑफ श्री राजेंद्रा प्रसाद सिंह विल बी डीम्ड टू बी कॉन्टीन्यूइंग एज पार्टनर्स टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ हिज शेयर इट इज ट्यू दैट द प्लेंटिवस हैव ऑल्सो सोट रेंडिशन ऑफ अकाउंट्स एंड देयर शेयर ऑफ प्रोफिट्स फ्रॉम द पार्टनरशिप एज वेल एज इंटरेस्ट over the unsecured loan and the principal amount of unsecured loan on rendition of accounts for granting this relief the plaintiffs undoubtedly rely upon the partnership deed dated 13th january 1989 however this deed of 1989 could be relied upon and form the basis of the claim of the plaintiffs only if the partnership deed dated 17th february 1992 was declared as void if the dated 17th february 1992 was not declared as void and remained valid and operative the plaintiffs could not fall back upon the earlier partnership deed dated 13th january 1989 to claim rendition of accounts and their share of profits therefore in order to get their share of profits from the partnership business it was absolutely essential for the plaintiff appellants to have partnership deed dated 17th february 1992 declared as illegal void and inoperative the relief for such a declaration could only be granted by the civil court and not by an arbitrator as they or shri rajendra prasad singh through whom the plaintiffs derive the title are not party to the said deed the trial court had therefore rightly held that the matter could not be referred to arbitration and the view to the contrary taken by the high court is clearly illegal sub section 2 of section 8 of the 1996 act says that the application referred to in sub section 1 shall not be entertained unless it is accompanied by the original arbitration agreement or a duly certified copy thereof as already stated in the earlier part of the judgment defendant number 3 had moved an application on 25th november 2004 under section 34 of the arbitration act 1940 for staying the proceedings of the title suit and for referring the matter to arbitration he filed a supplementary petition to the aforesaid application on 16th december 2004 here in also reference was made to section 34 of arbitration act 1940 thereafter he filed an application on 28 february 2005 praying that as the arbitration act 1940 had been repealed and the suit is of 1998 to avoid any confusion his earlier petitions may be treated to have been filed 
अंडर सेक्शन एट ऑफ द आर्बिट्रेशन एक्ट 1996 नन ऑफ दीज पटिशंस वर एकम्पनीड बाय द ओरिजिनल आर्बिट्रेशन एग्रीमेंट डेटेड 17 फेबरवरी 1992 और ए ड्यूली सर्टिफाइड कॉपी देयर ऑफ इन फैक्ट देर इज नो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फाइलिंग द ओरिजिनल आर्बिट्रेशन एग्रीमेंट और ए ड्यूली सर्टिफाइड कॉपी देयर ऑफ अंडर सेक्शन 34 ऑफ आर्बिट्रेशन एक्ट 1940 एंड एज सच देयर वाज नो ओकेजन फॉर डिफेंडेंट नंबर थ्री टू फाइल द अफोर्सेड डॉक्यूमेंट स्टॉप